DJI goggles with glasses on. I want to talk about wearing glasses with the DJI goggles, okay? There's a space for them. I am nearsighted, so that means I can see about a foot in front of me. I can't see squat about four feet away from me. Nothing. I am useless. All I can tell you is if I have my glasses on, there is no amount of muscular action that can focus it. So my only option is to take my glasses off and to put them on, but I have astigmatism in my left eye. I actually even have a cataract in my right eye. There's a lot of double vision stuff going on. So when I put these on, I can focus for the most part, but it's uncomfortable because my left eye feels like, oh, if I could just dial it in a little bit, I'd be there. Now I know I've read on some forums that people are saying, oh, well just change the pupil distance to knob. But what that does, it's going in real close, and out real wide. In close, out wide. It's the distance between your pupils. That's it, that's what that's adjusting. So it's going like this. Oh, I found the center. That's the distance between my pupils, right? That's all that adjustment does. If they would have put in, like even on a pair of binoculars, you can adjust one eye. You can focus both of them, but you can adjust one eye to make a difference. I don't know how Vive did it, but I wear my glasses in the Vive and I can see everything just fine. Why is this such a big deal? I've got these on and then I've got this and then I've got my Mavic, so I'm walking around with three things, and I set this on the ground, and then I fire it up, and take off! Okay, I got this, then I have to go like this. I do that, and I flip these bad boys down, but now, hold on, I'm gonna talk about this later. Ugh, old welding trick doesn't work! Okay? And I flip them down and I fly and woo, this is great. Yep, everything's great. I think I'm gonna land now. Okay, I'm gonna flip them up. Oh, there it is. But then, let's say I'm gonna land. Nah, one hand. And we're landing. That's a pain in the ass. I really wanted to love these things. I wanna talk about a couple of other problems. Mainly, this band here. And actually, this whole thing kind of reminds me of the Rebel Forces helmets in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. It's a hat. It's not going to hurt you. Look. I think you have to have a very specific hump on the back of your skull because for this thing to fit right, and it's got this top here, put it on, open it up, it goes down as far as it can, and then you shut the goggles and you get them where you want it by kind of this number. Then once you get the goggles where they need to be, then you tighten this sucker down, but on me, that is right at the apex of that bump on my skull. So what it wants to do is it wants to go like that and fall down, okay? It either wants to be there or ideally it would be there. But watch, okay? See it moving? There's no amount of tension I could put on that thing that will make it stop doing that. Why is that a problem? Because of this. These goggles are a little bit heavy. Okay, but now, look at that. Ah, they're falling. Where do they fall onto? My glasses. Is that cool? No, nobody likes that. 
Uh, here's another little gripe, if I may. The fan that's on this thing is on all the time and it's kind of loud. Let's see if I can get you to hear it. Can you hear that? That's, that's the fan, man. By the way, I need a haircut. That's better. Let's watch some footage of the problem in action. So you see what I'm talking about? I had to take my glasses off. I had to do all that. Uh, yeah, it's too much of a pain. My point here is that the DJI goggles are a fantastic piece of engineering. They work wonderfully. The view you get from your drone back to your goggles is amazing. It has a lot of potential. I'm just saying that for some reason with my glasses on, I can't see and with my glasses off, it's better, but I need some way to adjust one or the other and both. Some people on the forums who are farsighted have said that they are able to go to Walmart or Walgreens and get some reader glasses to magnify differently. One guy even took his DJI goggles to his optometrist who then made him a special prescription so he could wear the goggles. But I really am not going to go through that trouble. They're great out of the box for somebody who doesn't wear glasses or maybe contact lenses would work fine. I'm hesitant to get rid of them right away because I hope that DJI does a firmware update that might fix these things. For now, I'm just disappointed, you know, buyer's remorse kind of thing. But if you are thinking about buying them and you wear glasses, I would highly recommend you go try them first. I didn't have that opportunity, so I just bought them straight from DJI. They're fantastic, get them. Unless you have glasses, try them. Okay? Click the link below, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think, okay? Bye!